All right, adventure seekers. Let's do a little close up. Jack Upholstery's Custom VW Pirates of the Caribbean Machine. He has customized every inch of this beast. Jack Upholstery Interior is awesome. Everything you can think of. Check out that steering wheel. Check out that gear shift, man. Oh, the alligator. I didn't even notice the alligator head. That's cool, Jack. What else we got in there? It looks like some custom sounds out of this machine, too. It's got the Pirates of the Caribbean war chest. It probably stores all this gold in there. Goes around, take it from you. It's too busy looking at this car. No, rob you blind. All right, Mr. Jack has done quite the job on this machine. Right. Good job, Jack. All right, adventure seekers, we have a treat for you here. We have Jack, custom built this. Jack's upholstery. So how long did it take you to put this piece together, Jack? Uh, probably about eight years off and on. About eight years? Yeah, uh, just, uh, well, because I'm building, like, four cars all at the same time. Yeah. Additional back burner project. We worked on it whenever you came up with an idea. Yeah. So you have to have an idea right there. So, uh, rumor has it that when you first started this, you took this thing out of the dunes, right? Yeah. Raised the suspension a little bit, it, and right. this thing went up the dunes, yeah. even. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, with those back tires, you'll go pretty much anywhere as long as you keep yeah, it straight, huh? Yeah. All right. When I got it back, I had to pull it all back apart to get the sand out. Oh, yeah, the sand gets everywhere. It's what the hate, even with them at quad. Yeah. So, obviously, uh, you just found things over time that fit your inspiration. I call it the Pirates of the Caribbean Mobile. What was, yeah. What's your, oh, look, I, I didn't even uh, see the spider. What the spider right, spider right there. There's a lot of details once you start looking at all this stuff. Yeah. You got your treasure chest with the amplifiers. You've got your pistols. That was a real pistol. Yeah? I had a fake pistol on there. The guy looked here, that's a fake pistol. Then he comes back. I got a real one for you. So you got a real pistol. That's a real one? Yeah. That's yeah. Bad. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah. So you've no, obviously got, put a lot of love into this thing. How about the exhaust? Everybody yeah. loves the exhaust. Well, I only you, got, uh, I got eight grand tied up in the whole thing. Only eight grand tied up in this thing? Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Just start pounding. Yeah, it just sounds easy. Just start pounding metal. But when I pound metal, it certainly doesn't come out as beautiful as that. <laughs> there's, there's a little bit of art to it, my friend. A little bit. Yeah, well, you've definitely got the theme going here, and uh, every uh, time I've seen this at the VW show at Nahoe or wherever, it's been a, uh, a standout in the crowd. Yeah, it's, really uh, there's, it's uh, definitely a unique vehicle, and yeah. That's how I. Start building it. I got carried away. Yeah, the lights don't work nothing, so I got to pull it all back apart and redo it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you keep it so clean? Where do you keep all your cars? You just keep them covered? Pull car cover on. Just pull car cover on it because I've never seen a speck of dust on it. Except for maybe a Nahoy when you have to park out in the dirt. But other than that. <laughs> all right. So eight years of labor. Folks, you could have something like this too. You just have to have a lot of talent. Like Mr. Jack. So if you're ever in Santa Maria, stop by Jack's Upholstery. Give him some love for this creation. Thanks again, Jack. You're the man. Kudos.